Hello, everybody. And I'm going Another to address the following question. Here. Who will the Maple Leafs draft with the first selection of the 2016 NHL draft? Well, I'm going to give you my opinion on that. I believe they will select Austin Matthews. Here's why. Austin scored more goals, got more points in less games than Line A did in similar leagues at the same age, which is this year. While Line A struggled last year, getting only one assist in six games for his Tapara club in uh, SM Liga. Matthews was playing for USHL's under 18 development program and got an average two points per game. Um, who's got numbers that resemble that? Patrick Kane, uh, Jack Eichel. So obviously Eichel is maybe not the best uh, guy to compare him with since he's you know so young and we don't know how he's gonna turn out. But obviously Kane has been a great player. Now, people say that Toronto have been uh, known to draft European players. Toronto have been known to draft the most talented player available, available at the time that they drafted, and it just happened that they were born in Europe. Um, at this point, Austin Matthews is definitely the most talented player between the two, the two of them. Um, Line 8 is a better shooter, there's no doubt about that. About that. He also has a bigger frame, but he can't make up for the great vision of the play that Austin Matthews has, his skating ability. Austin Matthews is a complete player. Patrick Line 8 is a shooter. So, uh, I mean, you, if you're where the Maple Leafs are right now, you're definitely going for the franchise guy. The guy that can pan out to be a Kopitar, uh, somebody that will, can Back really take your team far, like we've seen previous teams do with the first overall pick. Go for guys like Tavares, um, obviously guys like Yakupov who were a little less successful. Um, Taylor Hall, you're always going for the franchise player. And in this case, Austin Matthews is the franchise player. Um, the other question I've been getting a lot is, is there a possibility that the Leafs trade down um, again here I'm really not seeing it happening um, they're clearly in early stages of the rebuild and the Leafs clearly want to add as many young pieces as they can but also having these pieces be high quality talent so they're not going to trade down from multiple picks and clearly are not interested in uh, all the players the only reason somebody could trade down in the position that they are is having too much pressure with the first overall selection, debating whether it's Line A or Matthews. This is one of the most experienced groups in the NHL with Lou Lamoriello, Mike Bab Babcock, uh, Brandon Shanahan. There's no way I see that happening, obviously. Um, and the argument that I've heard that they're not going to draft Matthews is, oh, they got enough centers. They don't need any. Bozak, Kadri, Nylander. Okay, let's just start off. Every team that has won the cup recently has had that number one center. Taze, Kopitar. Obviously, these two teams have won a lot recently. Let's go back a little. Zenneberg and Datsuk with Detroit. Crosby with Pittsburgh. You need a star first line center. And is Kadri going to be that guy for the Maple Leafs? Clearly not. He's not shown anywhere near the talent to be a starting center in a cup contending team. William Nylander does have the potential. Uh, clearly, would you put all your eggs in the same basket here? I don't think so. And obviously, Tyler Bozak cannot be a first center on a cup contending team. He's a guy that had great chemistry with obviously an elite player in Phil Kessel a bit like David Dernay from Montreal had great chemistry with Pacioretty which resulted ultimately in them producing at a high level but they're clearly not first line centers on cup contending teams so those are the reasons why I think the Leafs are going to go after Austin Matthews and let Line A fall to number two the 
and uh, he will be scooped up by the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, if you have any thoughts on it, please feel free to drop it in the comments below, and uh, I will try to get back at you. If you like this video, please press a like, and if you also if you enjoy it, so feel free to subscribe. If you disliked it, feel free to dislike it, and as always, thanks for watching.